Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today this video is about Microsoft's Windows 11 Insider Preview Build, 25977, which is released to the Canary Channel. As a reminder, as builds released to the Canary Channel are hot off the presses, Microsoft will offer limited documentation for builds flighted to the Canary Channel, including documenting only the most significant and highly impactful known issues. Please note that Microsoft will not publish a blog post for every flight, only when new features are available in a build. Windows has taken a significant step forward in accessibility by supporting the use of hearing aids equipped with the latest Bluetooth Low Energy Audio LE Audio, technology. Customers who use these new hearing aids are now able to directly pair, stream audio, and take calls on their Windows PCs with LE Audio support. This feature is available on Windows devices with our recently announced Bluetooth LE Audio support, which will be a growing market of devices in the coming months. In upcoming flights, we will be introducing additional capabilities to the hearing aids experience on Windows, such as controlling audio presets directly within Windows settings. Next to this, we have Windows location improvements. Microsoft is adding new controls to help you manage which apps have access to the list of Wi-Fi networks around you, which could be used to determine your location. You can view and modify which apps can access the list of Wi-Fi networks by navigating to Settings, Privacy and Security, Location. To simplify the process of sharing your location with trusted apps, we have also added a new prompt that will appear the first time an app attempts to access your location or Wi-Fi information. This prompt will enable location services and allow the app to access your location, helping you complete tasks such as finding directions or checking the weather without navigating to settings. Additionally, the prompt will notify when an app unexpectedly requests access to location services so that you can deny it. If you never want apps to access your location, you can turn off Notify when apps request location on the Location Settings page to hide these prompts when location has been turned off. Once you have granted permission, apps that use location or Wi-Fi information will now appear in Recent Activity on the Location page, and the Location icon will show in the taskbar while the app is in use. This will help you better monitor when apps are using this information. Next to this, we have SMB over QUIC Client Access Control. Starting with this build, Build 25977, SMB over QUIC now supports additional access control options for clients. This improves the existing SMB over QUIC feature, which introduced an alternative to the TCP network transport, providing secure, reliable connectivity to edge file servers over untrusted networks like the Internet. With this new option, administrators can restrict which clients can access SMB over quick servers. This option gives organizations additional SMB over QUIC connection protections but does not change the Windows authentication used to make the SMB connection or the end user experience. So, these were the new things introduced to this build. Moving forward and talking about the changes and improvements made to this build. In general, starting with this build, Mail and Calendar will no longer be installed after doing a clean install using the provided ISOs of this build. This only applies for clean installs of build 25977 and higher in the Canary Channel today. Mail and Calendar will not be removed on upgrade for insiders in the Canary Channel. For Start Menu, the Xbox Game Bar will now show as just Game Bar under the Start Menu and also under Settings, System, System Components. This change will come through a Game Bar update via the Microsoft Store. For Task Bar and System Tray, added, the network icon in the System Tray now animates when a connection is in progress. This animation replaces the disconnected globe when a network is taking time to establish internet. For input, Microsoft is including two new keyboard layouts in this flight. These keyboards implement the two new German extended layout standards, E1 and E2. The extended layouts allow users to type all characters needed for German, including German quotations marks, which were not previously available. All Latin-based languages of the EU, Greek, Epiphonetic transcription, Egyptian hieroglyph transcription, most Latin-based languages of the entire world, including Vietnamese with its multiple accents per character, and more. For settings, in settings, when looking at your Wi-Fi password under the Wi-Fi properties, it now shows a QR code so you can more easily share it with others. It also shows a QR code when you set up a mobile hotspot to share your network connection. So these were the changes and improvements made in this build. Now moving forward, and talking about the fixes for known issues made in this build fixed an underlying issue believed to be the root cause of various games having issues launching, citing graphics issues, or changing resolution in build 25967. Did some work to help improve performance when expanding the navigation pane in Task Manager. Fixed an issue were certain. 
RAR files would open blank or with an unexpected message saying there was insufficient memory to open the file, so that was all from Microsoft for this build. If you want to know more, follow the link to the official Microsoft blog from the description. Hope it was useful consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.